Hello my friends, welcome to it's not a channel, this Uncle Misha. Today we have LX 500C step up and down transformer on our bench. So what it is, this is something which will convert 110 volt, 120 volt, I must say, into um, 100 volt. And I need it for some of the Japanese gear. So let's take a look what we got. All right, so we need to unbox the little, actually it's not that little thing, and actually it's quite heavy, it probably weighs about two kilos per one and a half, something like that. So here we are, it is, it boxed nicely, and we have step up and down transformer, desktop LX series, there is a 500C JP, 300C and LX 500C. Safe, 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 smart, slim. Save, save, small, whatever. Okay, the transformer itself, there is nothing else. No, there is something else here. Neat white cable. Box is actually pretty simplistic, but pretty efficient. I like it. The reason I got this, because I have to um, power some Japanese equipment. And this thing is clearly nice and slick looking device all right with some um silicone pads here it's gonna be sitting nice uh, on the desk or anywhere it's supposed to be sitting it has two outputs and they clearly marked as 100 volt ac 100 volt so you're gonna take uh our north american uh, 110 volts and make 120 volts I mean and make them 100 volts because some of the devices may not like it there is a button here it looks like it's just a regular clunking switch uh, this thing has a fuse but fuse is like two, two mm, this is more like a safety fuse not 500 volt, watt limiting fuse because this device is 500 VA I'm just wondering VA at what level at this level or at this level so yeah so essentially it means it's gonna take a uh, good power device up to uh, five yeah five amp so that's plenty for audio equipment so I probably use would be able to use multiple mini disc players cassette decks and stuff like that well not mega pooper duper power amplifier crank it at 100 watt each channel but yeah well, I mean, one at least for sure. Okay, so uh, I just noticed something. It says warranty void if removed. I was really tempted to take it apart, but like after seeing this, I have to think about it. Probably I'm not gonna take it apart. I'm gonna take it apart after actually I see it properly working with my equipment. Potentially, this thing is as simple as a just regular transformer and it's very similar to what we saw in my um, uh, in my video about auto transformer or variac it's i think it's going to be something like that and we can actually double check that so let me take my multimeter all right so here is multimeter and we will prove or disprove such theory about this course everything falling down okay so we have a multimeter you would need multimeter anyways to double check if it's actually 100 volt so we switch to ohms range ohms mode so what you're gonna do, you're gonna try to find. Oh, it's capacitance, what I've done. Okay, let's start from with ground. So, you're gonna try ground first. Uh, obviously, ground is ground. Okay, let's try one of the pins. <laughs> Okay, this pin is clearly 
Yeah, it'll be nice if you have it powered on. Let's do it again. It's powered on. Okay. 1.4 ohms, alright. So let's try another pin. Okay. Interesting. So this is just proves the point that it is simple uh, auto transformer way setup. So it's just a single uh, uh, winding uh, metal core transformer when the um, voltage is taken from somewhere not far from the end of the transformer, you know what I mean? Please look at my video that I uh, posted earlier, which explained how auto transformer works. So if you take the whole winding, you're gonna have h um, higher voltage, depends how, many, how much uh, winding on that core you have. You can make a little bit higher, you can obviously make a little bit lower. So I'm pretty sure this thing, that's how it works. So our next step would be to actually power it up and measure the voltage on output. So certainly this device is not um, uh, is isolated device, so the outputs and inputs will be not galvanically isolated. <coughs> Fuck. All right, so let's just power it up. Oh, nice and flexible cable, by the way. This is very important. I like these cables to be um, flexible. Okay, so, so this device is powered now. On and off. So now it is on. It's not too bright of an indicator. I would prefer it to be brighter. And maybe I would prefer it to be on this side because you would know it's powered, right? Or on both sides. Okay, so it is powered. Let's switch to AC and measure what we get on the output. And we get 100.9 volt. What do we get here? 100. So this thing is clearly working as it should. It's quite beefy, so certainly it has qu uh, not much uh, going on inside. Probably one transformer, one button. One little resistor actually to drive this little LED. That's pretty much it. This is what I would expect. Obviously nice to see what's inside, but I think we're gonna leave it for another video or maybe later uh, sometime when I actually enjoy this device a little bit. Actually, it's very nice, uh, very nice design. If you compare it with this beast, if you compare it with this beast, which is probably like five times bigger and three times heavier, you understand that this beast is capable of way more, plus it is adjustable, like like so, yeah. Where's the pointer, actually? Kind of lost myself here. Oh, here we are. So you see that, right, 130 volts. So you can do uh, different voltages, Right, so the, the, this, by the way, is not corresponding. Have to be at around 90 volts here because this device was designed to work with 110 volts, right? But now we have 120 volt in outlet. So in order to obtain 100, you have to be somewhere around here. If you if you go all the way to 130, it's going to be 150 volt AC. So yeah, but nevertheless, this still. This thing still works, it's just simple auto transformer or variac. <coughs> yeah, you can you can work out with this thing. Well, you can work out with that thing as well, it's not super light as well. Alright, I think we're gonna wrap up at this. This device seems to be doing its um uh you know what? I just gonna power up. I wanna demonstrate it working. So this, if you watch my uh, way previous video, you probably saw unboxing of this device. So this is uh, Onkyo uh, MD105FX High MD Audio MD. Oh, sorry, High MD uh, Deck. All right. So 
but this little guy requires 100 volt AC. And this is moment of truth because after I bought it, I never actually plug it in, all right? So it could be, <laughs> uh, yeah, could be some interesting elevation here. All right, so it's just like, I don't know how you properly prop it up. We'll use fluke multimeter as a proper propping thingy. Okay, let's power it up. Oh, it is standby. This thing powered up. This thing powered up. It says no disk. Certainly it is working. And it has also a remote. We can actually put it back on standby. Can we? Oh, no batteries. Which is very good. Okay, we'll t t test this later. So this certainly indicates that device is working. It probably would be working from 120 volt as well, but we don't want to risk that. It is 20% more voltage. And if that would be a switch mode the power supply, that would be fine. But I do believe this guy has a transformer power supply, which, will, which means that an output is gonna have potentially Potential it depends how the power supply circuit made or designed would have higher voltage, which is not good for digital circuits. For analog, maybe maybe okay. You know, op amps they they can they work in quite wide range of uh, operation voltages er, and amplifiers. But digital circuits probably wouldn't like, for example, something like five and a half volt. Maybe. All right, guys. I think we're gonna wrap up at this one. We're gonna shut it down. We're gonna shut this down. And we believe this thing is working and this thing is working too. Now I'm gonna sleep better. Okay, so what do I think? I think this is pretty decent because this device can be placed somewhere on the shelf and it looks nice in comparison to that beast that I have around the corner, right? It's pretty slim. It'll actually look like a wireless modem or something like that. And uh, yeah. Probably even I can put something on top of it because this is the, over here it has the silicone uh, non-slip uh, uh, rubber mat and over here is too. So it's definitely gonna stay in place like for sure and stuff can be placed on top. Probably even heavier stuff can be placed on top because this thing is a beast. Good construction, nice look. I totally recommend it. Obviously time will tell, will tell how this thing will perform, but so far so good. I think guys are gonna wrap up and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and like the video, comment if you like and I'll be happy to hear from you obviously. Stay safe, stay tuned for new videos and ciao!